What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video is entitled The Wall and Mental Illness. See, we talk about the wall, you know, a person hits the wall, men talk, talk about women hitting the wall, and and we say some of these women are a little bit off, you know, narcissism, uh, uh, bipolar, bi, what is it, bi something, you know, it's, it, it, a lot of these disorders, right, that, that come to a degree out of narcissism and delusion and selfishness. And what I'm about to say is a lot of this stuff is mental illness because of the wall. See, you out here acting like you ain't got no sense. Like like life just like you just you don't you don't you don't abide by or all the rules of life don't apply to you. And then you hit a certain age. Oh. Oh wait. I was a jerk to everybody? And they don't like me now? I said, I said, I said, I'm going crazy. No, you're not going crazy. No, you having a breakdown because you was stupid. That's that's what happened. That's what happened. I'm pretty. I'm young. I'm sexy. I'm going to use these men for the rest of my life. Then you hit a certain age. They're not, they're not liking my pictures. They're not, my phone ain't ringing like it used to. They're not, they're not saying I'm cute no more. So I, I used to ask them for bill money. Now they don't even give me plan B pill money. Like, I'm almost about to start tricking all men for company. I just can't. I can't. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm going crazy. No. You just hit the wall and you're having a breakdown. Yeah. You know. Your family told you you were special. You was a catch. That it, it, you know that anybody in your atmosphere was blessed to be around your presence. But you're really not a catch, and you're really not special. And um, then you ran into people who were actually special and actually were a catch, and then uh, uh, you don't have them qualities and then the st uh, 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 I'm crazy. No, you're not crazy. You're not. It's not you're just having a breakdown because you're delusional. You, you know, see, see, people who have mental illness, they, it's understood that their mental illness is, is Trump's reality. You can't have mental illness by getting hit with reality. You know, you just found out two plus two is four. And now you, uh, uh, I'm crazy. No, you're not crazy. Reality is everybody on the planet knew two plus two is four, even crazy folks. You know, you reap what you sow. That's, that's part of reality. People don't go, oh, uh, uh, I'm reaping what I sow. Oh my God, I'm having a breakdown. No, 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 no. You just got slapped in the face with reality. And you thought you was above reality. That's what happened. All your mental Ill issues and illnesses, that's called life. Being grown. That's what that is. You just had a dose of life and being grown and now you just can't, can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. Oh my God. I got issues. No, you don't. Your issue is you've been living in fantasy land your whole life. You thought this was a movie, didn't you? You thought this was a TV show. You thought this was a play. This is real. This is real. You thought this was Mario Brothers. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put my second life in. And I'm going to really live it this time. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> but the wall and mental illness. You're not going to pay for my meals no more? I used to eat free all the time. I don't know what to do with myself. That's why you're going crazy. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to have sex with me. Now nobody wants to do it no more. I don't understand. I, I can't take it. Really? Really? Just, you, you're unwanted? That's what this is about? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Right. Men were supposed to take care of me my whole life, but I said I was strong and independent. And now I got to be strong and independent. So you going crazy because you spoke your strong independentness into existence. And that was, now you didn't really want to do it. That's what you're saying. Like the rest of the world got to take care of you for having a breakdown because of that. Okay. Okay. The wall and mental illness, right? You know. Feminism kicked in. I could be a man. I'm just like a man. I want to compete with men, just like men. And then you wake up and you see all these men who are distinguished, you know, at 35 and up, and you're not, and you can't be a distinguished man. And you, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not a man and I can't be just like a man. Oh my God. I'm sorry, did you ever go into the men's restroom? Does your car, did you, was your car insurance calibrated for men? Like when you have life insurance and health insurance, did you check the mailbox? I'm sorry, did you, did, I, I don't understand. When you got, when you're filling out application, did you check the man box and did they look at you and say, how you, you kind of, kind of, and I never seen a man with, you know, with a bra on, like, and a, a thong. Never seen a guy like that, you know. You know, when you play sports, did you play on a girls team? Like, so now all of a sudden you're shocked. <laughs> oh my God. I got to be a woman now. <laughs> if I don't be a woman now, these men not going to want me. Uh, you done spent 30 years. You, you, now I ain't going to say 30 years. You up in your 30s talking like you a man. And now you just realize that men don't want women who think they want to be men. Like you just, that's a breakdown for you. That's just, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Really? That's what we're doing? You know, you've been putting on, you you were young or prettier than you are, and you wasn't taking care of yourself. You wasn't sleeping good. You wasn't eating good. You know, you was partying. And drinking too much or smoking hookah, cause they're in weed, like you know, like y'all act like y'all don't popping pills and whatnot. And now all of a sudden, you know, your bags all the way on your damn chin. And um, now, now you put, you know, cement on your face, and you spray paint it to hold your face up like it used to be, and it looks crazy now. And now you, I can't take it. I don't look like I used to. I can't take it. I can't. Well, I mean, you put junk in your body and your body's going to get your junk back on the back end. Like, I mean, you didn't know that? Do I look fat in these jeans? The jeans are extra, 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 extra large. Why are you asking that question? You got them from the big and tall section. Why are you asking that question? Hmm? Hmm? That tight dress you got on? It wasn't supposed to stretch around the stomach like that. Why are you asking that question? Hmm? You having a breakdown? Because you 25, but you got them grandmama flapping arms like you 62. And you why are you asking that question? You having a break? Uh, uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, you can. Uh, I didn't know I was obese. What did, what did the scale say? I got rid of the scale because the scale said too damn much. Hmm. So, so really, this mental illness has to do with the fact that you just didn't want to live in reality. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know, sometimes you just got to, you know, step into the real world. The real world. Not, come on. Not never never land. The real world. You know, so some of this, you know, mental illness got something to do with that. 
It's the wall. You know, it ain't real stuff. It's the wall. You got now. You got to be a grown woman now. Oh, so sorry for you. I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe for the for the people who gonna thumbs this down because they gonna be mad. <laughs> but I'm done. Catch you on the next one. Peace.